Hi Year 10, I hope you guys are doing well. I hope you've had a really good weekend and you've managed to enjoy at least some of the sun before the rainy weather came back. Um, it's been really nice to hear that masterclasses last week went really well for English. I've had so much amazing feedback from your teachers, which I will share with you um, in a little bit. But I'm really, really proud of every single one of you um, that came in, has worked really, really hard. Um, and put 100% effort in, which is really, really amazing. So massive well done to you guys. Um, obviously, we know that we the government want us to be back together in September, full school. So that's really exciting news for so many of us because it means that we're gonna come back to some kind of normality, which I know having spoke to a lot of you on the phone, that is exactly what you guys want. And you know, lockdown seems to have lasted forever, but you guys have done really, really well. And hopefully we'll all be back together soon and plans are, you know, being put in place as we speak to make sure that we're safe and that it's gonna be a really successful start to the term in September. So with that in mind, we've got year eights, year sevens, then year nines coming in over the next three weeks just to get themselves ready. Obviously year 10 have been in already, but it just means that they've got some contact with their teachers and some time to kind of get used to being back in school so that they are ready for September. So hopefully by that point, we'll all be feeling ready to go um, and face the new academic year, which is really, really exciting. So my thought today is just about kindness. I know I've mentioned this a few weeks ago, but it was just playing my mind this morning. I was watching the news and I was actually looking at something um, quite relevant at the moment. They were talking about some parents feeling a little bit under pressure as their children haven't been massively kind to them in recent times. And I don't know how many people that applies to, but it just made me think that actually you know, just being kind to our parents and our family and our siblings makes such a difference um, in each other's lives. And I know lockdown might have felt like frustrating at times. It might feel like you're getting on each other's toes a little bit and you've had enough of being with your family. But uh, my encouragement to you is just to choose to be kind to your family, to your siblings, to your other family members. Um, because firstly, that's going to make their day, that's going to make them feel better, but also it's going to make you feel better as well. So as we come to kind of the final um, weeks, um, months of lockdown, just continue to be kind, be patient with one another. You know, if you get frustrated, maybe take some time out. Um, but just remember that the words you speak, the things that you say, the acts of generosity all make a difference in somebody else's life. So choose to be kind, even as we get towards the end of lockdown. Um, just so that you are making a positive environment for you and your family to live in, which I'm sure will make a huge difference to those around you. Okay, I've got loads of shout outs this week, which I'm really excited to share. So my first one is PE. I'm just gonna read this for you. So it's from Miss Coughlin to Isma Ahmed for being really, really proactive in catching up on work miss. So well done to you. I know quite a few of you got outstanding work and it might feel like it gets on top of you, but just be proactive. You will feel better and it will you know it will mean that you're not falling behind so just try and keep on top of that so as i said last week in english lots of your teachers who were there were saying how amazing you guys were how proud of you that they were because of your hard work mr simpson said this he said the tens that have come in have been amazing all week serious resilience in the circumstances and it was great to have them in being kind and sociable we should be very proud of them all so thank you for letting me know mr simpson how amazing everybody was a couple of shout outs from your teacher so mr simpson said rahima begum was amazing and majahid worked really well also mr hussein named shakira zishan and tahani um, for working really well he mentioned saim in particular for being his almost star of the day or the week for being really intuitive inquisitive and being really well read beyond his subject so well done to you saim um, Mr. Cooper um, was also really proud of his group, so a massive well done to those people in Mr. Cooper's group. Um, for science, we've got um, Yusuf Hassan, so Miss Rashid has said that she's really impressed with him in science. He's working really, really hard and is engaged and gets all his assignments done, so a massive well done to you. And then year 10, we've got shout outs from science again from Miss Simji to Nusheen, Mahin, Abdullah, Shams, um, Ahmed for making a superb effort and for producing high quality work. So well done to you guys. Okay, finally, the Hegarty Maths leaderboard. I'm just going to read the top three names for you and a couple of shout outs. So in first place, we've got Tahani, second place, Mohammed Jamma, third place, Hamza Shazad. And Mr. Mahmood has said that Mohammed Jamma in the last week has 51 new skills and over 600 correct questions. So well done to you. And Hamza Shazad in the last week has 22 new skills and over 200 correct questions. So a massive, massive well done to you two in particular. So 
keep going year 10 with your uh, maths classes this week keep going at home with your work remember to be kind to your family and to your loved ones around you and i look forward to speaking to you again next week have a great week guys bye